Hey everyone, welcome to Monday Minutes. I'm Pastor Drew filling in for Pastor Doug. Hey, I got a question. How many of you have ever, ever been afraid? <laughs> I don't know about you. When I was younger, you know, I used to have a monster under my bed. It was big, ugly, and scary. In fact, it would lurk there every night in my mind, and just the thought of it would make my heart race. You know, for many of us, our fears are like that monster. They're unseen, and but very real. We can't touch them, but they control us. So today we're going to face those monsters head on. You see, our fears might not have claws and sharp teeth, but they feel just as powerful. Fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of the future. These are the monsters that sneak into our hearts and into our minds. But just like any good monster story, there's always a way to defeat them. And guess what? We don't have to face them alone. So let's dive into what the Bible has to say about fear. One of my favorite verses on fear is Isaiah 41.10, and it says, I don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. So the first thing I want to talk about when it comes to fear is that fear feeds on the unknown. Or we could look at this as the shadow monster. You know, it represents the fear of the unknown, the what-ifs, what's lurking in the shadow of uncertainty. We ask ourselves, what if I fail? What if they don't like me? What if I'm not enough? You see, the shadow monster grows bigger every time we doubt ourselves. But Isaiah 41.10 tells us that we don't need to fear the unknown because God is with us. He's not just watching from the sidelines. No, he strengthens us day in and day out. So when we trust God, we shine a light into the shadow, and that shadow monster can't stand the light of God's truth, and it begins to shrink. So the second thing about fear is that fear paralyzes us. Now with this one, I like to call it the freeze monster. You know, this one shows up when we feel stuck, paralyzed by fear. Maybe you wanted to try something new. Maybe, you know, you want to join a team, or maybe youth, you want to speak up in class, or maybe you want to try to get a new job, or for a lot of us, sharing our faith, but that freeze monster keeps us glued in place. It whispers lies like, you can't do it. You'll embarrass yourself. But here's the thing. God never intended us for us to live in fear. In 2 Timothy 1.7, it says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but what? Power, love, and self-discipline. See, God gives us the power to move forward, to take action even when we're scared. That freeze monster loses its grip when we step out in faith. And the third thing of fear is fear distorts our reality. Now, this one I like to call the mirror monster for that reason is that this one makes everything seem scarier than it really is. Have you ever been to the carnival and you see one of those funhouse mirrors? Well, you know, it's a warped version of yourself. That's what fear does. It distorts the truth. It makes challenges look impossible and obstacles seem too big to overcome. But in Psalms 34, 4, David says, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. You see, when we pray and seek God, he helps us see things clearly. That mere monster's lies start to fade and we can see ourselves and our situations through God's eyes. So what once seemed impossible now looks like an opportunity for growth. Right? So when it comes to fear, you know, how do we face these fears? We bring our monsters into the light. You see, we remember that God is with us and he gives us strength. We move forward even when fear tries to freeze and, and glue us down in place. We trust God to show us the truth when fear tries to distort our reality. So every time you feel fear creeping in, remember Isaiah 41.10. It says, don't be afraid for I, the Lord, am with you. Your monsters may be big, but I learned in Veggie Tales years ago, God is much bigger than the boogeyman. So imagine if we all face our fears, trusting God's with us, the monsters won't stand a chance. Hey guys, thanks for being with me today. I hope you have an amazing week. We'll see you later.